If you were born in an English-speaking Christian family over the last, say, 40 years, chances are you know Patch the Pirate. I mean, he was the audio equivalent of Veggie Tales. We are the pirates, so don't do anything. From the Mr. Slippy River to Camp Kukawaka, there's no denying the influence he's had. But who was he? The man behind Patch the Pirate was Ron Hamilton. Every little boy ever, including Ron, wanted to be cool when he grew up. He tried to be cool, but he grew up as nothing more than Ron. This will all be important in a second. The next big step on his journey is what should have been a normal optometry appointment. The doctor checked his right eye, and everything was great. Then he checked his left eye, and there was something in there. It was a tiny speck. Should be no problem. But just to be safe, the doctor sent him to get it checked out and an even more optometrist e optometrist Look, I don't know how this works. After a few appointments of increasing worry, they sent him in to have it checked by a surgeon. As he was rolled into the surgery room, his surgeon told him something that was not fun to hear. Everything culminated when the doctor rolled me into the operating room and told me he was going to have to go inside my left eye to find out what was going on. He said if it were a pop blood vessel or something I had inherited, I'd simply wake up with a sore bloodshot left eye. But if it were cancer, when I woke up, my left eye would be gone. I can't imagine how nerve-wracking that must have been. Anyhow, considering that the eye patch is his signature bit, I'm sure you know how he woke up. He wrote the song Rejoice in the Lord, a song special to many people, including me. It was a truly fitting song for this seemingly disastrous event. God never moves without purpose or plan. And thus, Patch the Pirate was born, just as cool as any little boy could dream of. He decided to use this new moniker in an audiobook, Patch the Pirate Goes to Space. It was nothing big, just a bunch of songs strung together with some needle and a threadbare story but kids loved it. It wasn't long until the kids were asking for another one and parents were going insane on the 37th listen. From that point on, he made almost one a year. His wife, Shelley Hamilton, played Sissy Siegel, and his children were most of the other main actors. He wrote many beloved songs, from the unreasonably catchy Worry Warthog, yes, I worry, Warthog. I worry every day. to the utterly ridiculous Camp Food, Come get your Kukulaka Bug Juice. To my personal favorite of all time, Wings as Eagles. God gives wings as eagles. This man, even with all the purging and purification, really brought forth gold. And it made the lives of many, many people richer. Now, there's a reason I'm talking about Patch the Pirate. Patch the Pirate was born in 1950, and, as all people do, he aged. When I was a kid, I loved to hear of the heroic pirate from Sticky Foot or Afraid of Fever. So when I heard he was dying recently, I was very sad. He had been showing early stages of dementia as early as 2017, and had been declining since. He gave up the ghost from his earthly home and left for his eternal one, on April 19th of the same year. But God took that utterly normal man with cancer in his eye and a passion for God and moved with a purpose and plan bigger than ever imagined. The legacy of God's purpose and plan in the purification of his life will live on as long as the world stands. And Patch himself will live on for eternity. Thank you for watching. I might make another video one day. Stay tuned. See ya. I am worry warthog. I worry constantly. Worry.
Warrior.